What's up, YouTube? So today's video is about uh, flood irrigation. Um, I don't prefer the water with with um. I don't prefer the water at all, but I mean you, you have to do what you have to do, especially during the heat of the summer. So uh, I, I I I apply a method of plan or I utilize a method of planning where I I plant symmetrically. So if you can see this this here. This is how every space will eventually look. It, uh, it may not, I may not complete this project this year, but at least by next year, it definitely will be filled in in this manner. Now, I only have these containers here for show purpose. Not all of them are planted yet. Uh, one, two, three. So these six here still need to be planted, but in these few right here, I have some Get Stuff Tomatoes planted. Um, so all these containers have no bottoms. Yes, I will be growing these tomato plants this close to each other. Um, and it's just all experimentation at this moment. So if you can see here, the water hose is over here. This is the water hose over here. I have it running right there because the, wa the watermelon vine is right here. I'm, I'm trying to flood that area. But at the same time, the water uh, is able to pass all the way over here. And if you can see, see if the camera's catching it uh, so you can see the running water so I'm, uh, I'm i'm all the way at the opposite end of the bed and everything over so everything from that side all the way to here is being flood irrigated just because the uh the land is kind of on a slope and yeah, it's, it's mostly because the land is on a slope but This is the hole, and it's not deep in there at all. And you can see it's flooded right there. We have some water over here. Um, and this area is dry. So now I'm gonna flood irrigate this area. And all I do is I literally come to the front of the garden bed. You can also see I have cardboard laid down there just to keep the weeds out of the watermelon patch. And um, it should make it easier for the bees. And it should give more get more sunlight to my plants and I won't have to keep weeding as much. But basically, I'm in the front of the garden bed and this, this hole here is gonna flood irrigate all the way to back there. It only takes about one to two minutes at the most. I'm gonna sit it on top of this brick. You know, I have to, uh, I do it in a manner that allows it to get right here. So now, this area here will now flood irrigate. And this water, you can see it's running through there. You can see now it's starting to pass through here. You can see the running water. Now it's running through here. And in about one minute, it's gonna be flooded. It's gonna be flooded all the way down there. So basically, once these plants get larger, it's definitely gonna help me out to where I won't have to Sit, stand over the plants and water each one with this watering can and I basically only use this watering can now to water say for instance these new starts that are on top of the bricks and that and that aren't actually on the ground so everything on the ground is able to become flood irrigated all the all of these on top of the bricks I have to come and water them myself I don't mind doing that at all and I just have to water them until I actually place them in the area to where I can flood irrigate them and as I said, the uh, pattern that I showed over there will be will be in every brick. So I'm nowhere near uh, completing this project. I mean, I can't complete it fast, but I have a few other a few hundred other plants to plant, so it's uh, can't do it at this moment. So this pattern here, it'll be filled in with green, of course, and these tomato plants will grow tall but everything doesn't have tomato plants. All these have tomato plants. This is Fiji Improved Tomato. You can see they're growing very well. They were all started inside those containers. So now if we check the flood irrigation, you can see we have a nice amount of water in here. Running over here. See moist, 
moist clay. Round this off. Still hasn't reached over here yet, but it will be pretty soon. So yeah, guys, that's a, that's a great method of watering your plants. Um, it's a great method of planting, planting using a symmetrical method, and it's also a great method to help water your plants um, at the base. All right, so that is my update for today. Uh, flood irrigation, utilizing slopes. There's a uh, cream Saskatchewan from yesterday. I showed, well, not from yesterday. I showed it uh, on video yesterday, but I forgot to upload the video, so I have to upload them both together. This is cream of Saskatchewan. Run pretty fast. Here's the second fruit set. Both of these were hand pollinated. So I can ensure that I have pure seeds to save for next year. All right, guys. Watch out for those tomato hornworms because it's definitely in there, definitely in season right now. I just uh, picked a big one. Thank you.